good morning. Today is a day in the life of our homeschool. It's about 7.30 and we are just getting up and ready to go. So we like to do this every now and then where we just go on and choose some new Kindle books for some free reading time. And right now Kaylee's really into sharks and so, and animals. And so we are just looking for some different ones online. Breakfast. Got a ham and spinach omelet with uh, organic salsa and some blackberries. So this is our morning notebook, our daily learning notebook. And when we start our school, we start with our basket time and we start with this notebook. Uh, the first page of the notebook shows if we're leaving the house at all, just allows my first grader to be prepared for what's happening that day. And then the second one is our basket time. Uh, we do a basket time every single day and this just helps to ensure that we bring truth, beauty, and goodness to our homeschool every day. And our core is what we do every day, so this does not change. And then we incorporate what's called a loop schedule. And so every day we go through, depending on the amount of time we have for our basket time, we go through and we try and complete as many of these as we can. And as we go through, I just put a little mark by each one. And when we are done with our basket time, we close that section up. And then the next day we start, we do our core again. And then we go, maybe we're starting on artist and composer and we do our math facts. Um, this just allows that we're always rotating through our morning basket. And what's great is I just put all of the materials in this basket I got from Hobby Lobby. And really it just has everything in here. It has our Shakespeare book and it has our classic poetry. It has our mother goose. Uh, books that we need, has our Bible that we go through, and this just ensures that everything's in one place and it allows for us to have an easy flow in the morning for our basket time. Next is my schedule for my first grader, and this is what we go through um, throughout the week. We get all of these things done throughout the week, and we work off of what's called a loop schedule. Um, we wanted to make sure that we were able to incorporate all of the different areas of study um, without being overwhelming every day. We want to make sure that there's lots of time for playing and inter interacting and um, personal studies. And so these are the core that we get done every day. We do reading, copy work, math, and I read aloud to the children. We make sure that these are done every day. So if we have a day where we are crazy busy outside the house, these things will be uh, done no matter what. And then we incorporate these other areas of study. So we do history, language arts, English, hey, art, science, nature studies, personal interest studies, history, language arts again, handicraft, and piano. And you'll notice on here I have history twice and language arts twice. That just makes sure that we hit those subjects multiple times per week instead of just having it once per week or once every couple days. Um, we make sure that that actually is happening almost every other day. So we're making sure that those uh, core pieces of learning are happening. And then again, I just mark it off as we go. This is in a uh, page one of those pages that you can just slip things in and out of and we just use a dry erase marker and just mark those off as we go. So that was basically the first 40 minutes or so of school. Um, we got through most of our morning basket. We still have to come back and do a little bit more, but we are starting to get a little antsy. So they head out, they're outside now, um, jumping on the trampoline. Okay, now we're back inside and Kaylee is looking through the poetry book that we have. Can you show them the cover of the poetry book, Kaylee? Okay, classic poems. And she's looking through finding two poems that we're gonna read together. Nathan is now working on his puzzle. We're actually getting some geography and also because he's putting together a world puzzle. So we finished our uh, basket time and now Kaylee has moved on to her math sheets. We're actually just in a review phase right now. So uh -oh. she's just doing um, math sheet reviews. It's snack time. Snacks. 
So while the kids are eating their snacks, I do a little bit of cleaning um, in the kitchen from our morning dishes. So now that Kaylee is working on our book report, I am gonna get the materials ready for our English lesson. Nathan has finished his books on tape and his puzzle. So he's basically done with his like normal core work today. And then we're gonna be working through um, just two more of his lessons that are on his uh, loop schedule. So Nathan has disappeared. We're gonna go find him because he always finds a place to hide. Hey buddy. Not feeling good or are you tired? Feeling good? Oh. Poor buddy. So, looks like we have a sick child. So fun. So, now I'm gonna go make some soup and make some lunch and read to Nathan. So we've now come to a mom's favorite part of the day, quiet time. <laughs> I love quiet time. Um, we do still 60 minutes of quiet time, as many days a week as we can. And Kaylee goes into a room and she just does imaginary time, usually reading books or coloring or building a fort or something of that nature. And then Nathan usually naps or um, reads books or listens to books on tape, just 60 minutes away um, for the kids to have some time alone and then for mom to work. So I work from home and uh, this time allows me to get my work done. Look who's home. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so tonight is breakfast for dinner. We still have ham left over from Easter that needs to be eaten and we have a bunch of eggs and I have not gone to Costco or the store. So tonight is a breakfast for dinner. Thank you so much for watching. That's basically a day in the life of a homeschooler. Uh, kids are in bed as you just saw, and I'm gonna go make some hot tea, read my book, and maybe get on social media a little bit. If you wanna see what our day-to-day -day homeschool looks like, we are over on Snapchat. I say we because my kids take over Snapchat every now and then, it's pretty fun. Um, so you can follow us over there on Snapchat. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, and I wanna hear from you. What homeschooler questions do you have that I can answer for you? I I really appreciate your time. I know that time is valuable and I just wanna say I'm so grateful that you watched this video and I hope it gave you some type of value in what we do every day as a homeschooler. So have a great night and I'll see you soon, bye.